The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour on this Wednesday, the uh, 12th of uh, July. This is going to be a very interesting session because there is internal buying here. The nine period moving average, look at this, here's the Dow, basically in a rectangle formation. I love these rectangle formations because the price can stay here for quite a while. And every time it gets close to the edge of the, the top of the, uh, the channel, it looks like it's going to break out. And then what happens is it just stalls. Well, 34,588 was the Dow's high in the cash down on the 16th of June. Today's high is less than two points below that, 34,586.94. But I've got it as a gray leg C. So I'll just take a moment here. It's not technical Friday, but I'll just take a moment here to explain. In the context of uh, the Chapman Wave notation, the starting point here, this, and I'll circle it because this is your starting point at every peak and every trough needs to be notated. That's your only obligation in this particular technique. So at 32,000, uh, 586. Oh, I can put that in, but it's not going to click. But let me just do this so that you can see it. Uh, I'll move that away just from there. It is just for the moment. I'll move that away. That's your starting point. So that's your peak A right there. Here's your peak B uh, early June. Then leg C goes to peaks. You remember a floating letter until it makes a peak, pulls back one bar rest and makes a leg D at 34,588 on the 16th of June. But then what happens is it pulls back. It makes this cup formation. Now look what's going on. Look at the vertical test of all the technicals. Uh, in this case, I'm going to draw it in. It's just going to start looking messy, but I'll do it right now. So look here. The MACD's good. Stochastic's over uh, 80, well over 80 percent. The on-balance volume's good, but turns around almost exactly on the day. Then turns around, but when it rallies up to the next high, about a week or so later, look, the technicals are very weak right here. I believe that that was the high. Look, the technicals are weak. Now look what what's happened. We've rallied even further to the upside, almost testing the left side high. But the, the MACD is just just now. It's at, it's unchanged. Oops, it's up a little bit. It's up a little bit, but not as strong as it was. The stochastics way down to forty six percent, and this the on balance volume is very weak. So I I have a lot of respect for three things. One is a particular pattern that you follow, whether it's borders, whether it's left side, right side uh, symmetry for the price time match, whether it is um, the notation, whatever it is, that's one aspect. Another aspect is how is the how is the price doing regardless of what we're looking at in terms of, in fact, I'll do this right now because it's important. Let me just add... Uh, Risa, let's go to blank. There we go. How How is it acting in regards to the price movement alone? In this particular case, we're not going to get the price movement alone. We're going to get the price movement, but I've also added the nine period over the 14 or under the 14, the 914 EMAs. And here it is. So this is, and let's just go back to the Dow, INDU. Look, there's the Dow. You had your left side, right side. This time, when it plunged, the, the 9 didn't even go under the 40. But look, price is the arbiter of the trend. And it's made a new recovery high. It's now making higher highs and higher lows. I respect that. That's the second thing. The third thing is the um, technical indicator of last resort. Remember, the Fed is always the banker of last resort. In this case, we talk about the 940 being the, the technical indicator of last resort. And it deflected to the upside and the price has gone even higher. So just on that alone, whether we're anticipating that there could be some kind of a pullback today, that's not the point. The point is, as we're speaking at, at 10, 10 a.m. on the 13th of July, the Eastern time that is, the Dow is up 279 at 35,540. And that is, this is a closing price. It's just a gray, thick uh, line. 
And that's really important. If you look at the S, the, the SPY, let's look at the SPX. SPX has just been unbelievable. Since it crossed positive, it had just one day. Since it crossed positive back in uh, March, it has only one day of pink where the nine went under the 14. And look at this, it is still holding beautifully. Look, so the, the S&Ps are 44 at 4483. Look at the uh, Q, uh, QQQ. Same thing. This had one day, a negative one day back in April 26th and 27th. 27th, and then it flipped back to green. Look at, and the Qs are up 5.46 at 373.65. Well, look at the, uh, what do we want to do? We want to do the IWM. IWM is up 1% and up 2.05 at 191.85. Very, very strong action, doing really nicely. Uh, yes, your left side high on a closing basis right there in the week of the, this is a daily chart. On the 3rd of March at 191.93, we went to 193.05 already today. So, and if I had to choose a left side, right side price tie match, uh, just based on this, I would have cho chosen that particular, if you choose the bottom, you'd already be at that level over there. So this is extending higher. Um, in a longer time frame, and it has gone higher. Look at the XLK. XLK is trading at uh, 174.58, up 2.55. Same thing. This one also back in April had a one-day turn down ever since it flipped positive back in the 15th of March. So that's very good. Uh, that's the S&P Select uh Tech Spider Fund. Now let's also do this. What I wanted to show you is, and this is going to be really, very really important. Look at the SMHs. We were short very briefly here. Took some profits, uh, some very nice percentage profits on small positions. Then got stopped out for a gain, small gain, and then it flipped back up again. That's the SOXS, the three times short. Now look at this. It's about to retest the left side high. I don't fight with that. That says there's still internal strength. And that internal strength has been translated into that nine period moving average, not not yet. Closing pink, closing below the 14. Isn't that fascinating? Let's go to the TLT. The TLT bonds flipped negative back on the uh, right there around about the 5th of July. It's remained negative, but the bonds are up 37 cents at 100. Now, I have to go back to the live charts because I want to show you something really interesting. Look at this. Uh, wait, this is the, um, so let me just put this in here. I just updated. This is the one-minute E-mini. Uh, turned down, did this beautiful cup for arch formation, held the support, bounced, started to go sideways. Sideways says, okay, be careful, but then flip back to green. And now we're, what we've got is we've got G slash B becomes a C. This is the same thing I'm doing in the other charts, and a D. And you've got a D in the five-minute chart right here. Finally got your D right there. And you've got an F. This could be an uh, instant restart over there, but we call it an F for now in the 10-minute chart. Right now, 10.20, that's great. We've got five minutes, six minutes to go. At 10.20 starts the next session of the, se the, the, of the, of the day. This is my analysis always. And we'll see if it holds or we break the new highs, new recovery highs, or even intraday highs. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back to this 98.85. 98.85 is spoke about this the other day, so we can go through it again today. So the TLT had a low of 98.88 back in, I think it was March, in this rectangle formation. Now, look, it made one cup. This is the lowercase h pattern. Then it made another one. looks like an M pattern. And then what happens is it keeps coming down. And what it did is it went to 98.85 three sessions ago, took out the left side low, but now it's bounced back up again. So this is going to be really important because it's telling us that the yields are kind of struggling right now because they've been going higher and higher. Let me just show you the inverse because that went to, remember, to leg D. Uh, leg C, TBT. Yeah, leg C, I could call it an alternate count because the starting point was right here, way down here, and in the 26s, that's it. And this, this becomes an A, B, C, D, E, F, and then you turn down. So this could be a continuation pattern. So I should put in a G slash C. I always have to be careful. This, this is part of the curriculum, part of the stuff that you learn in the Chapman methodology, that at a certain point, there is a chance that there's an alternative count. Be prepared for it. And it's a leg D already in the weekly chart, but it hasn't taken out the left side high. And that just tells us that at this particular point, the yields are still in a situation where uh, they in the resistance area that's in the 31 to in the 31s. This is the TBT based on the TBT ultra short Lima 20 year treasury bond ETF. Look, the MACD is good. Stochastic's good at 89%. Unbalanced volumes turned down. The red percent's turned down, but still over 50%. So that says there's still some internal strength in the TBT, which means there could be some internal weakness in the TLT. This could be the start of a move to the upside, but this is a very important area. This is what I want you to say is yields are in a very important area. That's really that's key to, to, to note. But wait a minute. If you put the package together with the dollar cascading like it has, and the uh, gold continuous contract is up 24, almost 25 points at 1961, and what we've got here, if you go to the GDX, that's the GDX, is really the gold miners. Remember, I said I like to see gold miners either work in parallel or lead. In this case, uh, they all are in parallel, a very strong leg B today, up. 115 at 31.39, up 3.8%. Uh, 
that's if you look at the weekly chart, this is mm, it's not great. If you look at the monthly chart, yeah. If you look at the daily chart, all we're doing is we're in this large um, rectangle formation, which has the potential to make a cup. But if you look, and this is what I was talking about yesterday, if you look at the technicals, of course, it didn't have the report that came out this morning to, to favor uh, the the slide in the dollar and the rally in gold. And this rally now should continue. Now, whether it continues in the straight line up is the big question. But I think and what I said is we tried to make some kind of a base at the, oh, I thought I typed it in, 2876 on the 29th. 2876, 28.76 on the 6, 29, 23. So we tried to we tried to form some kind of a, a a bottom in the gold contract that says it isn't just one of those bottoms that spikes up and fails very quickly. And what I'd said yesterday this is the first time we've actually gone to a leg B in all of these dreaded H patterns that fails at a peak A and went to a lower low on the right side, having tested the left side. This is the first time we've got a leg B. At the same time, the MACD's turned up. That's really good. Uh, the um, stochastic's not good at 51%, but it is running sharply, having been under 20% just a, a week ago. So this is all very good short-term action. Uh, and the on-balance volume did make that W formation, and it is running. It's running nicely, but not great, but it's running nicely. So within that context, let's look at silver, because remember I said silver might in the end turn out to be the stronger of the two out of gold, and silver, because it has a, a component that is practical. One is being used, I believe, for the batteries or the EV um, manufacturing. So I think this is important. This is a fabulous move in silver right now. It's pushed away from the 200 period moving average. It's up 3.67%, up 85 cents at 24.13. Nice action. Weekly chart leaves a lot to, de uh, to be desired and same thing in the monthly. So this is going to be important right now. As we're looking at silver, the breakout says, if at any point it can close into this ugly candle of the week of the 11th of May, with a high of 25, what was that, 25 something, 25.88, and a low of 24.51. Oops, is that, yeah, that's the one. If we can get anywhere into that, into the 25.10 area, that's the first time that I will see the right side all of a sudden say that the tide is changing and that now we could be moving higher. Okay, with that said, just real quickly, high grade copper. I agree, copper, nice move up today, but it's also in the low range, but it is a good move. I was asked about uh, SCCO uh, two days ago. I said it's, it's, oh, I forgot to type it in, or maybe I did, but that's when I lost some of the data, so it didn't hold everything I'd saved. But look, I this is a Chapman falling axe formation. We've broken out to the upside, look at that. And now what we got is a potential for a one-to-one -one Break to the upside like this. Uh, new parallel like this. And I always go down to the to the trough of importance. So that says, yes, uh, there's a chance that SEC or Southern Copper trading at uh, 73.59 up 1.45 could make a leg D above 74.88, the high of the 15th of June. Um, that's the potential in this particular falling axe, shoving away falling axe formation. Uh, the MACD is just trying to turn up, and the stochastic's weak, but it's, it's running at 52% on balance of volumes, okay. So that's Southern Copper, but the weekly chart is kind of stuck in a, in a rectangle formation right now. I did want to, before we go to the next, uh, uh, yeah, oh, so I answer the question, uh, Basil, do you see a break in the GDX? Yes, I see this. So the question is right now, what would you do with the GDX? I think you can start a position. I think if that's your question, start a position, yeah, 31, 32, but I would treat it with a little, it, it's an emotional response and the 200 period moving average of 30.58, it looks like a magnet, it looks like at some point there's gonna be a retest of that, that in terms of, instead of being a repellent, being support. So just keep in mind that that's something you wanna be uh, observant of. 
and the weekly chart is starting to improve, as I said, but it's got a lot to go to go uh, green in the in the nine period moving average. The uh, question I had was, um, where did I go with that other question? Okay. Oh, yes. So here we go. So I want you to look at the uh, crude oil. Crude oil is, uh, it was up earlier, and now it's up 75 cents. Get this going here. There we are. Yeah, there it is. So it's up. Nice leg B, gray leg B. No, no, this is a, this is a blue leg. This is a, a buy signal in the uh, daily chart. MACD is strong. Stochastic is very strong, 91%. Nine period went over the 14. So that weekly rectangle it says it's going to be really important for that Chapman Wave Roman candle, which is just seen in stalling motion of the week of the fifth of May in crude oil continuous contract, 76.94. You want to see two closes out of three. That's two weeks out of three weeks you want to close in the seven in the 97s i'll be back that was a 271 s and b's of 45. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Right, let me just go to some questions right now. 10355 was the low on Airbnb on the 15th of May. Uh, 10355, 10382 on the 24th, and 103. 74, good. So then that's your starting point right here. Sometimes it's a little close. Usually my eye will pick it up immediately whether it's a penny difference or not. But in this case, I wanted to double check. So that is the A. That's the B. That's the C. That's the D. The little double top there. 
with a chance. Uh, must check there as well. I believe it's exactly to the penny. So we've got 129.20 and 129. Is that a 20? Yes. So good. So that's E. Okay. This is a fascinating one because this is E. Therefore, it's accounting, and that's like Chapman Wave instant restart, but then it went a little lower over there. And that says at some point, the 124 level will be tested. It doesn't say when. But in the meantime, I go F slash G slash C. Uh, no, A, B, C, yeah. And that could be a D right there. We don't know yet. Uh, but the idea is that this high that was made right here should be tested because we're halfway into the wick. So let's go into the high of the 144.63 on the 17th of February. There, that would be a target. So I'm counting, uh, huh, this is also tight, 119.37. One, whoa, 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 what am I talking about? Oh, that was the open. 129.20, 129.25. All right. So this is the way I'm looking at. I believe Airbnb, before this move is finished, will test or at least get very close to the 144.63 high. So the question came in, where would I add if I was long uh, Airbnb? Where would I add to it? I think there's going to be a bit of a pullback before we, we can get to that level. Just on the short term, because the short terms are coming a little bit overbought based on the unbalanced volume. So I would add, if you can get, look, two days ago, it was trading at 129. I'll compromise. I'll go to the 9 period moving average of 132. I would say if you can get it between, it's at 137 right now, hit 140 today. If you can, have a little patience, because you're in, you're, you're in nicely. I don't want you to be buying here. When there's maybe four points to the upside, but you actually could pull back seven points because then your cost average, that's just not the way to do it. That wasn't the plan. The plan was, I'm sure, on big pullbacks, where would I enter a new position? So I'm going to answer that, I'm guessing, because I'm still expecting. Look, this is already, oh, let me just do this. So this is the up arrow because the stochastic is over 80%. So yeah, I have to put this in. And then I'll circle it just to show you that the way I will look at this is you've got to count from the most identifiable low. That's the low of everything that you count right there. So that means this is peak A, peak B. Then it stalls. Then you have to go from the lowest trough after that and, and look at the, the way the MACD and Stochastico are working. But your objective is from this particular low right here. There's an A. There's an A, a lower, but it's still an A. There's another A, therefore this becomes a B. Not that it went lower than that. This is your starting point. Remember, this is the whole thing. B, and now you're in leg C. So you can get an, even an overlapping wave in this leg C, but this is really good action, and it's like a cup formation. I like it. Now, if you wanted, this would be a plan that is post de facto. In other words, you've already got your positions. Now you're kind of thinking it through. If you want, you could start a split add-on position. This is just an add-on. This is not your big position. This is an add-on trading position. Even though this is a potential leg D, it might even be a C, but it doesn't matter. This is treated as if it's a D right now. Um, and say, I'm not going to wait all the way to, to go to uh, down to 132 or 130. I'm going to start a split position under 135 and then add that other position because it's in a buy mode in the daily, it's in a buy mode in the weekly, and the, the monthly chart is improving. That's ABNB, ABNB is the symbol, up 34 cents at 137.86 right now. Yeah, I like it. It was on our list, yeah, but once it got away, I just, I didn't feel comfortable enough, uh, and I should have, because the nine period in the daily is so strong above the 14 period moving average. So that's why we're looking at another question about Shopify. Shopify has been doing really well. Now it's starting to stall. Um, where would I add to Shopify? I'm not that sanguine about Shopify. It's done fabulously. Uh, we once had it in around 28 or something. The low was 23. And then we got out. And look at this now. It's trading at 64. Um, 
I would just stick with the position you've got here. I need you might miss another move that goes to a leg D above a hundred and oh, sorry above seventy. Make it sixty-seven thirty-six. Maybe I don't know if you get to seventy, but say sixty sixty-eights um, at this particular point. But I I would be a little careful about adding here, just because the upside it looks as a, like there's a lot of resistance at this particular point, but it's acting really well. Next question. Let me just check my questions that are coming in here. Um, Nvidia. Could I do an analysis of Nvidia? See, Nvidia. This is the part that. Um, the reason why I we went short that for that moment, very brief moment, uh, because Nvidia was just stalling, and even now it's up very nicely today. It's up 13 points at uh, 437.50 in this cup formation, meaning that it is testing or maybe even taking out the high of the 20th of June of 439.90. <laughs> and the other these are working. 439. Let me just type this in. 439.90. That was the 20th. Okay. So this is the cup formation. And if you're looking at the technicals, the the nine is still way over the 14. The magni is very weak. Look at the 200 period moving average still rallying, but way way down here at the 273 level. Uh, over almost 150 points low. And look at the stochastic, only at 62%. I think NVIDIA is starting to stall. So I'm, I'm not, it's just a question about NVIDIA. So my answer is that I think NVIDIA is starting to stall, but it isn't showing any sign in price that it wants to really pull back. When it does, it will impact the whole SMHs, and the SMH right now is up 2.92 uh, at 154 had a big spike to the upside. Once 55.94 was the high on the 16th, and we've got a high today of 154.52. It is in a, in a gray leg, see, I, I call it gray, because the MACD is not good, the stochastic is not good. So that's what I'm saying. I think we're in, a, we're in a stalling formation in some of the sectors. Yes, you've got bots, which is the AI we spoke about it yesterday. I said start a position um, yesterday when I got a question about it. This is a brand new leg, gray A, uh, acting very well. It's up 1.3%. We are long. Uh, we've been long for uh, actually since uh, April. Uh, it's done very nicely. Uh, this is the AI Global X Robotics and AI ETF. I think it's getting, tr trying to get to the 30 area, round number high. But at the same time, I it's not leading. It's, it's more following than leading. So I just say, yes. Keep in mind that if you're getting new positions now, just make it a little lighter than it's, as it would if it was at a low. This is probably going from the 29th, 28th to retest that 30 level very soon. I'll be back. That was up 272. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee. 
at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I had a question about McEwen Mining and McEwen... Mining, uh, actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was a question, right? Yeah. Uh, could I do it? So, uh, this is, look, here's your A, here's your B, oh, capital A on the way up, A, B. I'm just going from the rally that started in back in January or so of 2020, and then it made a peak D, and it plummeted from the uh, 16, 17 area, goes all the way down to, uh, what was it, uh, two point something or other, and now it's peak A, peak B, that's the monthly. Okay, monthly technicals are starting to improve, but they're not great, but this month, for the first time, the nine so far with a half a month, not even a half a month in, you got an L, but you gotta wait for the month to finish. A daily chart, we take the lowest low, Put in an up arrow, you can do that because you're doing it historically. You're looking back, it's not on the spot. That it, it was the low. There's your A, there's your B, C, D. And then it goes to an E right there. And the nine period just briefly pulls back so you can go to a, a down arrow. And now there's a strong move up in the weekly chart, but the technicals are still very weak and you gotta wait for the nine to cross positive. It could do that very quickly. So the daily chart went to the 200 period moving average. This is how important the 200 period moving average is. Look, it hangs around, hangs around in the 6.90s, uh, pulls back to just under what's well, about 6.70 or so. And then in four days, one, two, three, four days, it goes all the way to 7.71. 7.74 is the high so far today. But it's done this before. But look at the difference. The difference is you've had base building with a stochastic building, building strength. The MACD made a slightly, not the green, not the red, but the green, faster moving average, made a lower low back in uh, May. Now it's a higher. And you've got today, for the first of days young, anything can happen. You've got the nine period about to cross positive. So it says, yes, I like it very much. I'm not sure it's, uh, can you look at Nux as a good silver play? Yes. So if, you, if you're looking at it historically, if you're looking at the weekly chart, buying it at 771, when it's already been up in the nines, um, even been up in the 16 area, that it says you've got a, an upside goal that at some point should be hit. At some point, doesn't tell you when. But here's the issue. The issue is I like to pull the chart out so that you can get a really good visual. Now, look, isn't this a different chart to the one you were looking at? The, the, the lows that were made back in 2022 and 2023, let me just pick this one out here and I'll show you something very interesting. I had already notated this. I must have lost it at some point. It's easy enough. Look, A, B. In fact, I kind of like to do it over sometimes because you get a different perspective. There's... It's not a chapter we've instant restart, but it certainly looks like a brand new with the nine so strongly above the 14. So you could go E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and there you get your D. So you got not an instant restart, so this has to be a down arrow and then an up arrow 
does it has the same effect and then you got that pullback but now look if I do my left side right side price time match I would have taken it to this trough here not to the bottom one I always try to I always a little conservative I go to the to the nearest icon or visual that is important otherwise it's so easy to say oh my god you can't pulling back you should easily go underneath there there's no easy you've got the 200 period moving average moving up look how it held over there so normally I would do this instead of going <coughs> excuse me from the actual trough I go I call it the Grand Canyon I go right to the bump against the major trough over there and then if I think it's going to be um, if I think it can be a one-to-one -one, normally if it looks like it's coming down slowly and I've picked it up say over here I say you know what I'm going to be a little I could do a one-to-one -one there but very often I take the first real trough in this case I'm just going to as I would a standard analysis would say that's the way I'm doing it right there where does it go to in relation to the uh, 200 period moving average etc and then I would draw another line that says from this peak over here I'm just going to draw a trend line to the end of this particular thing and here's my plumb line right here on this on this peak D right so let's just follow that through now this has to be extended to what I said was going to be the left side right side price time match that took you to here which was the week of the uh, 31st of May it actually made its low on the 25th of May uh, I, this is a daily chart on the 25th of May at 7.02 the level I was looking at right here was 6.55 and I said, okay, I would have said, okay, very nice rally. And right here, I would say, oh my goodness, look, the nine period moving average is just cross positive. Maybe that is the low. And then I look for the left side high. Well, the left side high of 8.35 on the 15th of May, you hit that at 8.30, you just missed it at 8.31. So the moment it flipped within two days, it flipped negative again, I would have to say, this is no more in, intact. It has to be extended to the left side, to the right side. And then I'd use this particular trough right here and I'd move it. That number of bars would take you to there and you'd extend it out and would have hit this very well. But that's not the point. I'd go one step at a time. Most importantly, look how it's this 200 period moving average has just been steadily moving up. That's a really good sign. So I like this. I do like it. And I'm just going to say, I don't know if you're in or you're out or you're looking, whatever it is. I would start a position here because you've lost the really best this doji candle before it turned green uh, was uh, the nine period flipped over to, to positive which is done intraday today that's not the end of the day it's just intraday so I would start a position now because you've got a high on the left side of uh, seven, eight, eight 8.31 which is 50 cents high. It's about 8% higher than where we are. I'm saying that's a good risk reward. And I would start the position, but I'd, I'd have to give it a couple of days to see if we can get back to the 50 period moving average or even the high of yesterday's candle, which was 7.52. Yeah, 7.52. I, in the 7.52 to 7.48 area, that's where I'd be thinking of adding to it. So yes, start your position here. If you're into options, I'd say I'd buy a call option, um, extend it out. What are we doing? We're, uh, this, is, this is July. We've gone until the 21st of July. That's one way to do it. I'd actually extend it out to August uh, because I think gold is start, just starting now to make a really a decent bottoming process. And it is a process because the, with the dollar the way it is, gold actually should have been way higher. So there are other things going on. And I think part of that is also you have to look at the financial. So I hope that helps you. Uh, XLF, very nice big spike to above the 200 period moving average. This is the first time that we've had some sense of extension to the upside rather than collapsing each time in the financials. Monthly chart doesn't look that great yet, but the others are improving and the KRE is still lagging desperately uh, behind so in this particular instance, I said before, I prefer to have the KRE leading. In this case, the XLF is leading, but you at least want that. What's Bank of America doing? Nice spike to the upside. It's not quite holding it, but it has spiked. 
yeah, we'll see. I'll be right back in a moment. We'll do the final section. Oh, I've got a ton of stocks that I promised I'd look at. I'll look at them in the final section. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so I had a question about is this a possible two click session? And uh, I'll answer that in a moment. But it's just Woozy, which is Woozy Core Smart Glasses Augmented Reality. It's one that I've had for quite a while. Um, I actually have it in my trader's corner as a uh, on, on my screamer watch list. Beautiful, up almost 10% today, up 50 cents at 573. Yeah, it's in the kind of the right area. All this stuff that has to do with anything that uh, artificial intelligence that can be used um, or anything to do with the um, the way uh, the way that you can compute something so that you in this case, augment whatever it is. You make it larger than, than than normal. This is very good, and that's the same thing with battery. It doesn't matter, AI, whatever it is. If it if it adds, if it's additive, and that's what this is in terms of the of, of smart glasses. Uh, yeah, I like it very much. It's a very good move, and the because it's pushed so far after all that hugging the 200 period moving average. These two sessions are the first big ones pushing it away. It makes the whole area of 518 to five dollars really strong support i do like it okay let's just do this real quickly <clears throat> see here on the one minute chart finally you've got your your arch formation pulling back and the one minute 
but the five minute is still holding the nine period moving average very nicely. It is tipping down. It hasn't broken down. And the, the 10 minute, just after that 830 report, that green nine period moving average is just holding beautifully. And I suspect there are so many people like I, I'm wanting subscribers. We've got buys that the prices are not just coming down to where we want to. We've got no short positions at this point. We're trying to buy and we're waiting for positions to pull back so that we can add to them after the gains. What I'd like to say is that, that that's been, it's been tough to, to get that pullback, but I, I'm seeing buying come in on every dip. So let's make it as clear as we can. If the Dow, I'll just use the Dow for the moment. If the Dow is up 279, if after 130 is holding about plus 230, I think that it can hold the wealth for the close. The stars to pull back and it's only up 